the dissociation constant question for phosphorus pentachloride, which has a molecular mass of 208.5 grams. Um, the question says, uh, the question asks us to calculate the dissociation constant ratio for 20.85 grams of um, phosphorus pentachloride dissociating into uh, phosphorus trichloride and chlorine gas. So that remains a solid and this would evaporate or be collected as a gas chlorine. So uh, we've got we know that we've got the number of moles uh, for phosphorus pentachloride to be 0 0.1 not 0 0.1 um, and we've got the pressure the volume everything so we'll start off with, by using the equation PV equals NRT which is the famous combined um, um, ideal gas equation. I'll bring volume here to make things easier so now we know that when you're converting um, volume from um, decimeter cubed to meter cubed you'll have to divide it by a thousand so it'll in fact be you know five decimeter cubed divided by a thousand uh, equals 0 0.1 more times 8.314 joules per kelvin per um, mole times uh, 448 kelvins because it was 175 it was 175 uh, 175 degrees and if you add 273 degrees to it it becomes 448 so um, we'll have to do um, so we, what we'll do is we'll quickly bring everything here uh, and it'll be 20 times 8.314 times 448 that should give you round about um, 448 times 20 that should give you 74,493.44 newtons per meter squared that will be um, 7.5 um, times 10 to the power 4 newtons per meter squared right yes we got it there we go we've got it so now in order to calculate the dissociation constant we need to um, divide the calculated pressure by the measured pressure so that will be 7.5 times 10 to the power of 4 newtons per meter squared of course every single time mention the units divided by 1.04 times 10 to the power of 5 newtons per meter squared we get something round about of um, divided by 1.04 um, to the power of 5 we get 0.72 so the ratio is the dissociation constant is 0.72 now let's recap please so what I did in this this um, uh, question was that I was given the equation I was given the mass so what I did was I calculated the molecular mass myself and then I got, uh, got the number of moles I then utilized my knowledge of ideal gases Brownian motion and uh, fluid dynamics to capture this equation for my use which is PV equals NRT I then moved to putting in the values for all of these variables and uh, I got myself the calculated volume the ca the, measure, uh, the uh, calculated pressure um, of 7.5 and once I did that I then remembered the tradition of dividing the calculated value by the measured value to get the ratio of 0.72 I'm happy about the fact that the ratio is close had it not been then it would have well it doesn't have to be all the time but usually the exam questions um, have a trend and they want you to, to have the ratio falling in very close to one so I'm glad my ratio is close to one and there's not much of a difference and uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. And the question, the answer is correct as well. So thank you very much for viewing this video. I hope you learned 
uh, the the conceptual uh, you know uh, functionality of how to calculate the uh, dissociation constant for gases. Thank you very much. Cheers. Take care. Bye now.